What is going on everyone? My name is Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the top side of the map in the blue color playing as Kronos. His name is Ulysses. His opponent today in the red color playing as Gaia. His name is Tiger Boss. It's game number five for the first round of the Competitive Mega Random 2022 tournaments. Game number five. That's literally, I think there's only, I, I don't think any player got three zeroed in the, in the, um, in the first round. And I think the vast majority were five game series and they've all been incredibly close. This makes me so excited for the next round where the, where the games will get even more competitive and we'll see how it's all going to shape up. Uh, we do have Tiger Boss's Gaia right now having to shape up against Ulysses' Kronos. The thing about being a one-trick in this game uh, in that Tiger Boss basically only plays the Atlanteans is that when you come into a tournament with God restrictions and you can't just play Uranus, things are going to become a little bit tricky for you. So... Uh, Ulysses is taking advantage of this. And this is another matchup which I didn't really, I don't really talk about. I actually don't like the Kronos versus Gaia matchup at all. I think that Gaia has an edge in this matchup. Um, but we'll see what Ulysses is going to come up with. Will he do some kind of crazy tower rush? Probably not. But it's always going to be, it could be a fun thing. It could be a fun thing. So. Looks like Tiger Boss is going to be rushing the classical age here, going for a quick advance time, four minutes. Very similar, he did this against the Oranos, where he didn't have Hunt at the start, but he did find himself these Aurochs over here. It's never too late to get yourself hunting dogs and go for that, go for that hunt. It's never too late to go for go for that hunt over here. So surprised to see that's not the case. Uh, so what what are the actual options here for Kronos? So Kronos can go for the go for a ten uh, a four minute advance time, can go for a three thirty advance time, or can go for a um, go for the four thirty advance time. So what can you do with that? So you can go for Leto, you can go for Prometheus. If you go for Prometheus, you don't you you have your valor. So you're trying to find an advantage with the heroes that you get. Um, you also have an advantage in siege weapons being cheaper so you can make a car ballister so the point maybe here is that ulysses might want to siege this gold mine with car ballister could be the option uh, there's also a gold mine over here which is a bit far away he'll be able to secure both this gold mine and this gold mine being on this position here uh so we'll see how it's all gonna go uh, getting onto two separate sides of the maps can be a little bit challenging for uh, for a Chrono series. We do see Lido at 307 coming through. Ulysses, on the other hand, also doing a, uh, a four-minute style build. I do think that he got himself hunting dogs, though. So he's, he's got a little bit more economy, but advances a little bit later. I'm not sure how much of a fan I am of these kind of delayed four minute advance times like if you're gonna go four minute make sure you can at least get four minute four minute oh five is late four minute 10 is too late four minute 15 is way too late just go 4 30 take the l on your uh, slower advance time have the better economy and live the dream we do see tiger boss's temple getting uh deconstructed here i'm surprised to see the temple getting built back where it does get built but not going to be delaying anything here Tiger Boss, uh, sorry, Ulysses not really timing that one to the best of his ability here as the heroes are moving in. Does Ulysses get focus? No, he doesn't. The Oracle getting pushed away as the temple is on this position, going to be attacking these citizen here, making another Oracle out. Makes a lot of sense. The no focus does make me a little bit sad as the Oracle does spawn. Uh, and we'll see if these villages are going to be able to get taken out here as... Ulysses gets himself the Promethean. The Valor does get cast. And Tiger Boss retreats back into his main base here. Not really a whole lot to attack on this side as we see the uh, the Gaia Forest getting dropped over here. And Tiger Boss under pressure at the very, very start of this game. Going to be getting himself watchtowers immediately. Because Deconstruction was used so early here, 
There's no real risk. He just gets the tower up, can defend, can have a a, a fairly fine early game here. But he is going to be short on on wood at this point. As the units searching around for villagers to attack, have, with the towers being up, not a whole lot of damage that can be done. So what Ulysses can now do is think about getting a second town center and, and going from here. Uh, there's not a, there's not really any places to attack. There is this here with a uh, with a Kyra Ballister to target down the citizen. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Like I think that's that's one option for uh, for for Ulysses, but. Not really going to be happening here as the Oracle does come forward here. And we do see the mana coming up on this location. More Promethean are going to be coming out. As we'll see the Tiger Boss. Uh, the Tiger Boss Oracle retreating back and the Watchtower will be getting taken out here. So nice pressure here from Ulysses finding a undefended location. A little bit unfortunate there for, for Tiger Bots to not have his Gaia Forest down just yet. Which you do see uh, Economic Guild coming up. Going to be grabbing Husbandry straight away so those villagers can be a little bit happier on that hunt here as the wall going to get broken down. And again, Tiger Boss, without having a safe Gaia Forest to chop down, he's got no real economic advantage as this game is going on. So it's effectively equal here. Uh, in terms of that, and Tiger Wars is at 33 of 34 population as this Promethean is trying to search around. Are we seeing that deconstruction coming up anytime soon? It's coming very soon here. So Ulysses is going to be able to push through this location pretty easily and get onto this gold mine. Uh, or if he wants to just attack the tower, he can do that as well. As the tower is managing to pick up a couple of units with the help of the town center. So Ulysses decides to pull back, maybe wait on deconstruction. And see what he wants to do here. As, do we see another another Valor? Is that what it was? I'm not sure. So it's just some spider eggs. Bit of a weird spot for spider eggs behind your gold mine, but I guess Tiger Boss just a little bit concerned about the units running around that way there. Now we do see the uh, the wooden wall getting taken down here as Ulysses breaking that one. Bit of a Trojan, or not Trojan, a bit of a wooden wall getting thrown up over here as the, the watchtower can get deconstructed now. It is a little, well, not just yet. How much longer on that one? How much longer? He's got 18 seconds left. So he's just going actually to attack the tower. See if he can take it down here as he's a bit of a sacrifice to go after that tower, but it does push off the gold mine. And Tiger Boss is only at 52 or 55 population. He does know that there's a gold mine over here, I believe. No. He doesn't know there's a gold mine there. This could be game over for Tiger Boss. He's getting himself channels. He's going to be searching for a gold mine. Tiger Boss has got himself decent coverage on these gold mines over here. So he knows he can go and grab those. As this mana will get taken out. And so too will the temple over here. We'll be seeing... Terma able to take down Tiger Boss's Mermillo here. As the villagers are making their way up onto this gold mine over here. He sends four villagers and puts the spider lair here. Obviously, Ulysses is going to expect there to be a gold villager over here, but everything is moving up onto this gold mine. So Tiger Boss is making a, a bit of a stand here as he's losing all of his buildings. That's going to put a stop to the, the automatons and everything else that comes from that. Man is getting taken down as well as Tiger Boss is going to drop down to 51 of 15 population with 99% citizen, 99% uh, Mermillo here as well. The unit's going to be running straight over that uh, that spider there, losing a lot of units to that one as the town center is now going to start feeling some pain here as Ulysses says it's time to take that out. This other Promethean needs to get, get working here. Uh, the town center is going to be a little bit strong. We do see the barracks getting deconstructed. Actually, a decent usage of that deconstruction there because that puts a stop to Mermillo being produced here as Ulysses is just going to hang in on this town center. It's 85 of 115 population. He's getting himself a second town center. Is he still building units? Yeah, he's still getting Mermillo and Terma. We see the... Uh, the automatons coming in onto this position not really having heroes here just yet we see the citizen coming over here to start repairing this one back up as he needs to deal with these units pretty fast if he wants to win if he wants to take this town center down as he does decide to pull his units here 
Val getting uh, used on this position, able to start taking those automatons down. Town Center at 700 HP, getting repaired by four citizen with the help of the automatic Gaia building HP regeneration. It makes it really, really tough to take down Gaia buildings as uh, we see these units pushing in yet again to take down more and more of these citizen. Ulysses just happily sitting underneath this town center. That's giving Gaia, uh, so that's giving the Gaia player Tiger Boss here uh, a bit of an, a bit of a chance here to get back. Now Ulysses does get himself the second town center first, so that could be enough of, a, of an advantage to find a win here. But losing all those units definitely does hurt uh, Tiger, uh, hurt Ulysses here. As the town center does stay alive and Tiger Boss is happily on this gold mine up here. Three manors around this location as well as Tiger Boss uh, is getting away with murder by being on that gold mine. But conveniently, said gold mine is just in a ton of black fog here for Ulysses. So he's like, I don't know where you are. I give up. I, I've checked. I've checked everywhere on my mini map. Like I've checked here. I've checked here. I've checked here. I've checked ev oh, oh, you're here. Oh, you're, you're here. Oh, okay. You're here. Nice. So now he sees that one. We will be seeing the spider lair doing a little bit of damage here as the uh, Ulysses unit's going to come through and start taking down the citizen. Unit's going to wander forward and start thinking about taking the manners down and everything else as well as the citizen does drop into the, the manor over here. There's four citizen in this manor and there's no real escape route for Tiger Boss. Tiger Boss is currently ahead in citizen by just a little bit here he's trying to mine as much of his gold mine as he possibly can jumping into these uh into these manners here as you see another spider egg getting dropped over here if you micro this just a little bit you should be able to take all of these spider layers down fast enough but now tiger boss coming in on the back he's got himself the handful of terma that he's constructed 110 population for ulysses one citizen going down the spider layer does pick off a unit there and in that moment tiger boss does tap out i do believe that this loss for tiger boss is does come down to that that four minute build that he tried to do if he just went for hunting dogs ate his aurochs at the start decided to walk over he wouldn't he would have been finished on the aurochs but by the time the first wave comes he can just come back onto his herdables eat those live the dream make his automatons make his memulo make his terma and he's going to be completely fine in this matchup in the early stages of the game but he doesn't go for it he goes for a four minute build and and it just doesn't quite have the oomph that it should you don't get the gaia bonus you don't get those gaia upgrades uh very early on at all like chronos here for ulysses has no upgrades but you still you just a little bit slow to get going here and ulysses gets the win gets the uh, the big win too can takes the whole series here against Tiger Boss. He gets to go on to the next round where we will see uh, some very very dynamic matches. I'm sure. If you guys enjoyed this game and enjoyed this series, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube's, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next game.